Hey, what's up you guys? Super quick before the video starts, I just wanna let you know that we have teamed up with Bego Live to bring you more Culture 35 live streams. Now, I know that I've already talked about this, but I wanted to bring it up one more time just in case you missed the first one because we've been having so much fun over there. If you don't already know what it is, Bego Live is a combination between a live streaming app and a social networking app that connects you with over 400 million users from all around the world. So if you wanna chat with me and have a private conversation, feel free to message me over there. I've been trying to respond to everyone. Something that I think is super cool about the app is that you can actually send your favorite creators virtual gifts while they're live streaming to show your support for the creator. And if you were wondering, the app is completely free to download. So if you wanna to talk to me and join our live streams, make sure you click the link in the description down below to download the Beagle Live app. And then follow our Beagle Live ID, which is Culture 35, so you don't miss when we stream. And for those of you who haven't already joined us on there, basically what we've been doing is we've been going live and answering a bunch of your questions. We've been letting you guys know what other video ideas we have coming up as well as letting you guys pitch us ideas. Not to mention we've been writing some of our videos with you guys on there so you can see how the process works. And we've even been doing a little bit of gaming which is something that you guys ask us to do more of all the time. We'll be going live a couple of times this next week so make sure you follow us and keep those notifications on. Thank you so much for your support over there so far and I can't wait to stream even more with you guys. Now on to the video. Fruit punch. Cold water. Fruit punch? What are you doing? Oh, I'm raising money for Grandpa's school field trip. He's going to space camp. Okay. I'm leaving to buy myself a new car. Fruit punch? Never. From you. Get your fruit punch. Fruit punch? Hi, my name is Karen. I live down the street from you, and I just have two quick questions for you. Uh, sure. Well, I wanted to ask what that is. Well, you see, this is my homemade fruit punch, and this is the coldest water, and you can get both for just $7, one cup. Wow, we all right. And uh, my other question? Mm-hmm. What is wrong with you? What? Yeah, well, this is a public sidewalk, and you're running a private business, so you need a permit. Yeah, this is my driveway. Yeah, but my husband works for the city council. I've never heard of him. Okay, well, then I'm gonna have to do this. Why did you do that? Oh. Don't make me come back here. Taking nets. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. I can't find my favorite flavor. Dude, not that. I just got asked for a permit for my fruit punch stand on my own driveway. Ah, you got Karen. Wait, what's a Karen? A Karen is a person who thinks that the whole world revolves around them and that they have the power to do whatever they want. Okay, but why did she bother me? Karens are like sharks. They can smell weakness. And once they see an opening, they go for the attack. Are you comparing me to a fish? Yes, a jellyfish specifically. Well, maybe not a jellyfish because they have stingers, but a fish with no spine. Why does everyone compare me to a fish? Well, you do kind of look like one. Listen, if you want to fix your Karen problem, you are going to get back out there, set up your stand, and I will be your spine. What do you mean? I'm just going to tell you what to say so you can stand up for yourself. Isn't Karen going to notice if you're just standing there telling me what to say? I always knew these would come in handy. We're going to communicate with these. What is that? We can speak to each other through the cups. This is what they use before cell phones. But Brian, we have cell phones. Just get out there and show her who the real Karen is! Ryan, I don't think this is gonna work. Yes, it will. Just trust me. But she's not even here. Hi, I'm Karen, remember? I, I live down the street. My husband's the mayor of the city. I thought he was the councilman. Ah, uh, you got a promotion. Anyways, do you have a permit for this? Ask her if she has a permit for her hair. Hair permits don't exist. <gasps> Just say it. Do you have a permit for your hair? Oh my God, she has a permit for her hair. I did not see that coming. Yeah, so if you didn't sign for a permit for this, I'm gonna have to wreck the stand again. Ask her if her husband signed the divorce papers. Signed the permit the same way that your husband signed the divorce papers? <gasps> <gasps> you made me lose a nail. I'm gonna speak to your manager. I don't know what to do. She wants to see the manager. <sighs> I'll be right there. Manager speaking, how may I help you? Your employee assaulted me and insulted my husband, and he's a council member. Well. I was watching the whole thing and you slapped him across the face, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But I, I've been a loyal customer for years. I've, I mean, I've been coming here because I love this stuff. Listen, Karen, I never liked you anyway. Get out, go, leave. I did it. 
You didn't do it. I did everything. No, 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 no. I feel this rush, this, this power, this sensation, this. Don't say it. This tingling. <sighs> Once again, you didn't do anything. Oh, no. I think I'm really starting to feel something. All right, listen, man. I did you a favor, but I really don't feel the same way. I feel a sense of power, a sense of authority. I've never felt like this before, and I like it. I'm never gonna let anyone walk all over me ever again. And speaking of that. <laughs> this isn't gonna go well. It's perfect. Oh, hey, Sonny. How's the fruit punch stand going? Why am I doing this for you? What do you mean? Why am I raising money for your field trip? <gasps> you volunteered for it! You said it'd be fun! I couldn't get you to stop talking about it! Mm, I'm done talking about it now! Do it yourself! <sighs> oh no! I don't know if I can cook fruit punch! I'm not that good of a chef! This steak came out horrible! What are you doing? Dancing? I am the dancing boy. Well, do it somewhere else. You're in my way. <sighs> Sorry. You should be. Your dancers are bringing shame to our family. Whoa, there is no reason to bring my dancing into this. Calm down, man. I will not calm down. You dance all over town and everyone is sick of seeing them. Keep your dances to yourself. Fine, but you'll never stop me from dancing. Never. Oh yeah? Dear police commissioner, my brother hey, Anthony. You'll never believe what I just got you. Hey Ryan, can you come in here for a second and close that door behind you? Okay. What's your problem? What's my problem? You knocked the gift out of my head! Uh, no, no, no! I'm talking about your attitude! You came in here when you knew I was in a bad mood just to intentionally say, Hey, Anthony! Well, guess what? My husband is a city councilman, and he can have you arrested! Get your hands off me! I will sue my husband is also a lawyer! Anthony, look at yourself! Look at what you've become! <gasps> you see? There you go, being a jellyfish again. But... I thought I was a jellyfish before. Yeah, but... Now you have your stingers. You've become the very thing you wanted to destroy. You've become a Karen. You're right. I've got to make this right. Starting with Grandpa's field trip money. Hey, can I come in? Yeah. Listen, I want to apologize. I have no right to tell you how, when, or where to dance. Don't let anyone ever tell you how you can express yourself through your dances. Your dances are brilliant. Your dances are loved by our entire town. Your dances make you who you are. Okay. <sighs> What's up guys? Today we're gonna make some fruit punch. I don't know how he does uh, it. Growing up, I didn't really have that much fruit punch. I didn't learn it until about it. Hopefully I don't miss this time. <laughs> oh wait, Grandpa. <sighs> I'm sorry about what I said. Let me help you. I thought I had to do it myself. No, I was wrong. I volunteered for it. I'll do it. Uh, by the way, the fruit punch is pre-made. It's in the fridge. Oh. So that's the long story. That's the short story. The long story actually involves a lot and a lot of spaghetti. Hi, Anthony, uh, right? Uh, 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 listen, Karen. Yeah. I was miserable like you once too. <laughs> yeah. Well, but just because you're miserable doesn't mean that you can take your anger out on other people. <laughs> Antonio, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sometimes we all have a little bit of our anger built up and we just want to release it and that's okay. But if you were just nice to other people, they would be nice to you too. I think I know what you're saying. And I accept your apology. You know what, Karen? I looked it up. You don't have a husband. Of, of course I do. Not to mention, I looked up the mayors and councilmen of our town. They're all women. Um, I think I left my husband in the oven. You know what? I finally feel good about myself. You dented my new car!
Hey, what's up you guys? Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see some bloopers and behind the scenes from both this video and the haunted garbage video from last week, you can click the link in the description down below or the link at the top box on screen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Also follow us on Instagram at culture35 and on TikTok at realculture35 for some extra bonus content. That's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.